319 RLS open range light model here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is one of the biggest, most highly appointed things in its class. You might find similar floor plans. You will not find one that is appointed or equipped to this level or size. And I'll, I'll kind of touch on that as we go. Real quick, I want to mention there's options and upgrades on this model that are not standard equipment. I'll try to point them out as we go so that you understand the difference between this video stock footage and an actual model we may have in stock. They could differ. Um, easy power awning right here, and I like that they put a pattern on it to really give it a knockout look. And notice that they do put their uh, lights right in the awning tube. Where that's kind of cool is with the uh, power awning button, you can adjust the pitch of those lights. So let's say you've had one too many barley pops and the lights are just hitting you wrong that night because we've all been there. Uh, you know, it, it's nice that you can angle that away from you. Huge pass-through storage up here, one of the biggest in its class. That's a box for a 39-inch LED flat-screen television. It's absolutely dwarfed inside of here. You can put huge toolboxes and everything in this. Um, a uh, full set of GT Strong On stabilizers on front and rear jacks. This will be one of the most stable RVs you've ever stayed a night in. And notice too, we also have a big front pass-through storage area here. Did you notice that this baggage door is hanging all up on its own? This has an easy magnetic latch. This is a true one-hand operation door. That's all there is to it. Uh, the nose of this thing <laughs> looks like a spaceship, but uh, it, they utilize every square inch of it intelligently, and it also opens up the opportunity to be very, very short bed friendly due to this uh, King Combo pin box you have up here. Might look a little funny, guys. You're going to love towing with this thing because you're not going to have to worry about the nose of your trailer connecting with the cab of your truck. And that's a very disappointing afternoon. Uh, not to mention expensive to repair. Also, you pull this pin, you can convert this easily over to a gooseneck from a fifth wheel hitch so you can tow it with whatever system you prefer. Um, every single open range from their biggest fifth wheel to smallest travel trailer is 100 and zero degree tested. Uh, they have extra insulation and roof and floors to help accomplish that. They have bigger furnaces where they need to. Um, you know, they have fully enclosed forced air insulated heated underbellies. They do everything they can to make sure this thing performs basically anytime you want to go camping so you don't lose camping season. A fully privatized docking center like we saw right there is not unheard of, but it is very, very uncommon in this class, in this price point, and in this size. Now, I'm down here for a couple reasons. The galvanized wheel wells those are here those are our blowout shields god forbid these nice radials that are on here do catch some debris and they do blow out you've at least got something to help absorb that impact before it starts tearing into your kitchen and your slide out floor also equal flex suspension that is a rubberized shock dampening system that is designed to help absorb all the uh, herky jerkiness uh, of uh, you know down the road travel before it gets translated up into your sidewalls, which can uh, weaken the structure of your coach, or translated forward into your tow vehicle. Now, um, we have uh, a two-year warranty on this product that is transferable, which they're the only ones I'm really aware of that allow for that. And it, it is because of these superior construction points I'm telling you about, like the, the roof membrane. Uh, the roof membrane itself is uh, a rubberized PVC material that essentially uh, never needs to be treated. I didn't say it doesn't, you're, you don't have to check your seals. You always have to check seals on anything. But the membrane itself does not require treatment for like warranty purposes. Uh, you notice too, we don't see uh, plastic and rubber screw trim. This is all aluminum. This is never going to lose its shape because of the sun hitting it. You're never gonna have to worry about anything failing. Now, here is where, pardon the noise by the way, it looks like, holy cow, we're selling a giant toy hauler over here. Um, here is where this thing really separates itself from the pack. You might find similar floor plans. They will not have the cubic foot or square foot of interior living space of this model. They will not, and here's why. This is not normal standard eight foot wide body. This is 100 inch wide body coach. Already it's bigger and wider. Most super slide floor plans are 36 inch deep slides. These are 42. These are six inches deep. Now, here's the other thing. It's not 42 inches deep on that side. This one's 42 inches deep on both sides. So this RV is 14 inches wider than anything else in its class. And yet, it still weighs less than most. And yet, it's still well insulated. You know, all these things can happen. Now, obviously, you, you can find a fifth wheel that might be a dollar cheaper than an open range. These are the reasons why. It, they, they will not have these qualities. And these are things you, you really do want, guys. When you're out there, when you're, when you're going to be spending a significant amount of time in an RV, you need that extra space, that extra room, that extra comfort. Those are the things you're going to want. Um, 
big window here in this door, which I absolutely love. And that's something you don't normally get until you're in a far higher price point. Um, frameless windows look space age because again, this thing is the RV equivalent of a spaceship. It's way ahead of its time, but uh, they, they look great. The seal is hidden under the window pane, so the UV light has a little harder time getting to it. The windows will open in a jealousy fashion, so you can leave them open in the rain. I will tell you, frameless windows don't get the most supreme of airflow. However, the side windows and the slide outs, which are extra big, those are a normal sliding pane, which does get big airflow. And your side windows give you the most air exchange. Uh, so you get both good looks and airflow in both. You don't have to settle for one or the other. Um, stepping inside here, uh, I want to show you one of my favorite points of any open range RV. And that is as soon as you walk inside, we have one light switch. That's all there is to it. Flip one switch and you get lights. And that is just like home and I love that. Um, let's see, uh, the, let's start real quick. The color scheme, oh, what is this one? I think it's called Sonic. I can get them mixed up from time to time because we have so many come through. But remember that your fabrics might look different in this video from the pictures. This island kitchen here is something we like to add to this floor plan. It's, it's on casters. It's fully movable, uh, adjustable, and it is 100% pure storage. You get maximum storage space even out of the island. And you're going to see big storage space as a recurring theme in this RV as we go through. So again, remember, if you want that island kitchen for prep space, you got it. If not, you've just got a huge wide open floor plan that you can be very comfortable in that is wider because the slides and wider because the body. Um, over the, what, what's cool about this is this is an extra deep slide with, that is floor flush in the kitchen. And that's pretty much unheard of guys there's nothing else in this class i'm aware of that does that there might be one it is few and far between even this is highly rare that's what's so awesome about this floor plan because this has a walk in slide out the stove doesn't come to the edge of the slide you're getting that much more space in here um we have upgraded this to a uh, eight cubic foot fridge instead of six for 33 percent more uh capacity there and i mean get a load of this pantry Look at this thing. The storage comes to you. It's easier to access, but they still leave you a giant pocket here for like big stuff, pots, pans, appliances. You still have room for all of that. Um, over here, we have an all-in-one stereo Bluetooth DVD system with high def inputs so that like if you want to hook up a high def satellite system, you can. And they left you a space to put those electronics, which most fifth wheels don't. And again, remember I talked about not a single ounce of wasted space going on here. Even the TV lifts up. Even the TV has two purposes. And notice they leave everything nice and clean. Everything's routed properly so you don't have a mess of cables back here. And they even put an extra DVD shelf in there just, just because, just for good reason. Fireplace is an electric space heater. You can use that uh, to take the chill out of the air whenever you want to uh, electrically without burning up your propane. The uh, bed back here is a full like king-sized hide-a-bed. And again, man, I, just, I can't say enough about the storage space in here. Um, both sides of the sofa do have power outlets so that uh, if you want to set a phone over here or charge a laptop or uh, an iPad or anything, you can do all that. Your AC systems are superior in this. They're not H ducted. They're not single track ducted. They are race track ducted. That means that you don't have one shunt going down. You don't have two. You have a continuous um, uh, cycle of air. Now it, it won't, um, it's more efficient. And what I mean by that is it won't get colder in here. It'll get down to temp faster because the air doesn't have any back pressure or buildup. We've swapped out the standard chairs for a nice theater seat in this. Keep in mind, you could get a, a standard chair as a theater seat, um, recliners. There's several different options and these do kick out and recline for, you know, comfort and use factor. The, uh, and remember again, we've got extra deep slide outs here. We've got extra space. We've got huge windows. Now what's sweet is you've got standing here. Look at all the viewing space that you have. You know, you can keep an eye on everything on your patio, under your awning, any of that. Um, Open range, every RV does something better than somebody else. Open range has the best kitchens, period. And that's a big statement because there's a lot of RVs out there. There's more cubic foot of storage space and a more condensed space here than any other brand I've ever seen. And we carry like 28 different manufacturers. You've got all the pantry space we already talked about. Everything around here opens up for maximum storage space. Big pots and pans drawer come to you. Uh, even little utility stuff like on each side, the microwave opens up and even these little doors are hidden hinge cabinetry to last as long as possible and look good doing it. Uh, your overhead space here, you see, 
has uh, not just big storage spaces, but they put a shelf in there. So you actually get the use of all of that space. Your countertops in a light, as a pair, uh, opposed to its big brother, Romer, are not a Corian solid surface countertop. They are a resin top countertop, though. They're, that's a lighter weight material. It lasts very long, and it's uh, it's water sealed so that uh, you know water splashing around the sink can't cause any damage. Just here, we have six drawers here, plus the ones in the island kitchen if that's added to your floor plan. And notice they even didn't even just give you a spot for a trash can, they even threw it in for you. What nice folks. Um, the uh, countertop covers, are uh, you know molded fitted and they're heavy duty so again you can use that like extra countertop space and uh, the sink under there is an American stone cast sink which is a highly impact resistant type sink it is American source they do use as many American source products in their open ranges as they possibly can every now and then you know domestic suppliers not available but they use every local supplier they can uh, also important right here above the kitchen above your cooking space is a full-size fan and that thing is there to help exhaust heat and keep airflow going. And actually, if you open a couple of your side windows and your slide outs and then open that up, you'll have a nice breeze going through your RV the entire time. Uh, let's step, oh, you know, another thing to mention, right when you walk in, there's just a nice little coat closet right here. Nice place to hang a jacket right when you walk in. And that's something that's just overlooked way too often. Uh, I left this door shut so I would not forget to remember, well, again, first of all, walk in, light switch, just like at home, it's just that easy. But it's detail stuff. This handle, they put a little stopper there. It's just little stuff like that so that, that you don't accidentally damage your wall paneling. But again, you walk in just like at home, bam, one light switch and you're done. Remember that you know spaceship looking nose cap? They used every square inch of that up there they possibly could. Now, this has a big honking wardrobe slide over here. Wardrobe slides weigh less than full bed slides. And they're more space efficient. They keep the RV smaller and you still get basically the same storage space out of it. So it weighs less, costs less, smaller. It's easier to handle down the road. Uh, the bed here, uh, normally with a wardrobe slide, has to get shoved all the way over. But notice you have lots of walking space here. Now I'm not doing the travel trailer shuffle. I can just walk in here. This is easy. And the reason they do that, the way they accomplish that, is because the entire bed slides. All you do is just push it back over to the middle of the coach once you reach your campsite. When the wardrobe slide comes in, it will shove the bed over as it needs to. Then when you get here, you just push it back a little bit and you get a full double side walk around bed, not a single side walk around bed. Again, that's the superior nature of an open range RV, that kind of ingenuity and planning. Um, both sides of the bed have their own little stands with power outlets so that you can run your own CPAP machines. Now, uh, you have your own uh, like satellite hookup system here if you do want to add a bedroom TV. And uh, I love the, I don't know, called library bookshelf overhead shelf here. Um, but the uh, there's also a little um, USB and 12-volt uh, socket, like cigarette lighter plug over there. So you can charge anything, run anything you want up here. This wardrobe is huge, and notice it even has its own little hidden dresser space in there. There is more storage even in the bedroom of this than other things in this class, in this size. Uh, we do also have sliding privacy door with a nice cloth holdback, not a cheap plastic one that'll warp and break over time. And again, just like every other area, walk in, and that's the fan, there's the light. One switch for the light, and you're done. Huge critical difference in this thing compared to anything else in the lightweight fifth wheel segment is this is washer dryer prepped. Now, obviously, if you want to put a washer dryer in here, you need to remove some shelves, but you can do it. That's the point. Um, they give you that option. They give you every possible option you could ever imagine in a fifth wheel this size and category. And a nice uh, spa style standing shower. Spa style meaning the door is open from the middle. It doesn't swing. If the door swung open, it would always be hitting something. You know, it's never in your way now. And again, uh, this is, I'm, I'm a tall guy. I'm standing in the shower, which is normal floor flush, by the way. There is no step up into the shower. Lots of headroom in here. I'm 6'3 with boots on. This is easy, guys. Porcelain stool with a foot flush. I mean, one of the biggest medicine cabinets in its class. And the only ugly thing in this RV is this guy. Sorry. That's what you got to deal with. Anyway, moving on. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping. Go have some fun.